Hello again, I'm Dr. Carol, and thank you for joining me. I hope you had a chance to watch the first couple of videos in this series, and if you haven't, take a moment to do that right now. Today, I want to talk with you about loss, perhaps grief, and the healing that you can experience from that this holiday season. Around Christmas time, any loss can become especially acute. The loss of a relationship, such as a boyfriend or girlfriend, maybe an estranged son or daughter, maybe the loss of a marriage and a spouse that's not in your life this holiday season. Even the loss of material things can become especially painful at this time, maybe the loss of a job, maybe material things that were lost in a house fire or flood that just you don't have this Christmas season. I'm experiencing a lot of loss and grief this year. My husband passed away a few months ago, and this will be my first Christmas without him. Al loved Christmas. We always made Christmas a big celebration. It was his favorite time of the year. I remember just last year, a year ago right now, he was sitting in his chair and I was decorating the Christmas tree. He wanted a live tree last year and we had that. And I was decorating the tree because he didn't have the physical strength to do that. He was becoming ill. He fell asleep as I was decorating the tree. We left on Christmas Eve for a celebration with the children and grandchildren and he could hardly make it out of the house. That was, I believe, the last time he left the house except for doctor's appointments or to go to the hospital over the next couple months before he passed away. I've had to do some hard work of healing in the months since I lost my husband. Healing is not something that just happens to you with the passage of time. Healing is something that you have to reach for, seek, find, and choose to take into your being. You have to choose to go there. Let me tell you what I mean. Just a few weeks ago, I recreated an anniversary trip that my husband and I took a few months ago. I went to the same beach. I stayed at the same hotel, ate at the same restaurant. I cried a lot. I journaled a lot. I prayed a lot. But I stayed there until I got to the point of gratitude. Now, I'm sure you know, as I do intellectually, that it's right to be grateful for the people that God brings into our lives. But I got to the point where can, I can actually feel the gratitude for the gift that my husband was to me, for the gift that his life was, not only to me, but to so many others, and hold on to that gratitude for that gift. If you're experiencing loss or grief this year, I want to invite you to go there. When you have those overwhelming feelings, don't just cover them over and pretend they're not there. Own them. Hold on to them. They're yours, but bring them into God's presence. That's what you do with those overwhelming feelings of sadness or loss or anger or whatever it is. Bring them into God's presence, and maybe you'll need to cry and scream and feel angry or sad or whatever it is. Let all those emotions out in God's presence and then stay there long enough for him to minister healing to you. If your loss was great, you may need to do that repeatedly. This holiday season can be a time when those wounds are opened and give God a window to come to some of those places that you need healing in your soul for. Maybe you've tried to keep them covered over in the past because you haven't wanted to go there. Let the emotions this Christmas allow you to open those up to God's presence. Some tips to help you in your journey to beating the holiday blues this season. First of all, make sure you get enough rest physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Get enough sleep. Emotionally, maybe you need to spend some time alone. And spiritually, make sure you just be in God's presence for periods of time. Second, choose to take in some positive mental nourishment every day this week. Just like with our physical food, God makes it available, but we're responsible to decide what we need, to find it, prepare it, and take it into our being. It's the same with the nourishment we need for our soul. God makes it available, but you're responsible to find it and take it into your being. 
Maybe that means spending some time in nature. Maybe that means a good book, some worship music, spending time with a caring family member or friend. And I hope you include some spiritual nourishment, spending time in God's word, in prayer, and just being in his presence. And third, I invite you to bring those overwhelming feelings into God's presence. Don't ignore them. Don't believe them as your whole truth. Bring them into God's presence. His shoulders are big enough to handle them. And then just stay there long enough to let him bring you healing. I invite you to pray today and this week, Jesus, I bring you all the sadness and the hurt and the pain, all my tangled emotions that I don't know what to do with. I choose to experience your healing. Let me pray for you. Dear Lord, I know someone watching right now is experiencing grief or loss this year. I know I am. I invite you to come into those hurting places, those angry places, those broken places, in a new and special way right now this Christmas season and bring them healing. Bring me healing. In Jesus' name. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you'll be with me next time. I want to talk with you about expectations. Good expectations, bad expectations, and then the disappointment from failed expectations. Until then, may God richly bless you.